with a unique history and famous highs and lows on and off the pitch. The story of AFC Wimbledon has captured the imagination of Hollywood. John Green, who is highly regarded uh, author for young adults, he's an American guy. He really got involved in the club and thought our story was perfect for a picture. He's had some of his own books made into pictures and pitched it to Fox, who have decided, yes, uh, there's a basis for a film there. And the script's currently just coming at the end of its first draft, I believe. I have asked if I do have a small part, could they get Brad Pitt in, um, just for the fact that it would mean my wife fancied me again and uh, I'd, be, I'd be over the moon with it. The fans have had a lot of fun around this. Um, they say they see a resemblance between me and Bill Nye. Um, he sounds a lot posher than me. Uh, let's go for Tom Hiddleston, eh? How about that? <laughs> the Leicester City story just recently is fantastic, you know, 5,000 to one outsider. But it's never happened in football before, what's happened to the old Wimbledon. more than just a, a story, it's a, you know, it's a, a collective excellence of a group of people that have had something taken away from them but refused to buckle. They became a fan-owned club in 2002 after a controversial decision saw the old Wimbledon relocate to Milton Keynes. In a decade, the reformed Dons have climbed English football's pyramid, culminating in May's promotion to League One at Wembley. And they're now above MK in the table. I'm happy for the fans because I know that it means a lot to them but I'm more worried about us first and foremost getting to 53 points. We will not allow ourselves to be defined by reference to anybody else. We are who we are, I'm very proud of it. I think this group of players out of any team that I've ever had here over the four, four and a bit years get the club and what it's been through more than ever and what they actually play for. Neil was at Wimbledon, of course, as a player. I think it would be very hard to be the crazy gang as they were then, to do that nowadays. But he brings some of the best of that, the sense of team, the sense of togetherness. We all play for each other and not for the individual. People talk about philosophies and, and, and you know what your philosophy is. I think you've got, to, you've got to suit the league. And we mix our game up quite well. We can play, but we can also you know, go a little bit forward, a little bit quicker and use pace and power. So we've been good at what we do, but you get to a point where you kind of hit a ceiling a little bit and we're, we're straining, trying to get a good budget to handle the league and attract players. I think, you know, there comes a point when you go, how can we push the boundaries to the next one? And I think the stadium could just add that whole new dimension to everything. Earlier this year, they moved closer to building a new stadium on the site of their spiritual home at Plough Lane. The intention is that around about May next year, the existing site uh, clearance will start, which will be very neatly put you in a position of starting to build in January 2018. A big risk to us is losing the culture of who we are and what we are and what we represent. That's the biggest risk for me in the new stadium, not will it be built on time, but will we lose our identity and perhaps become just like other clubs who are prey to external in uh, international buyers and whatever. We don't want to be like that. It was during their time at Plough Lane that the original Wimbledon wrote themselves into FA Cup folklore. This weekend, they could be victims of an upset when they travel to sixth tier Curzon. I just think for the first time in a while, it could be the other way around. Let's be honest, the reason we're on television is there's a chance of an upset. Having watched some of the footage of Curzon, certainly from the last rounds, they're good, they've got a good way of playing and they've got some good players and it's certainly going to be very, very tough. Their immediate focus is on the FA Cup, but many feel the Wimbledon script will only be complete once the club has come full circle and returned to the Premier League. I think there's a lot of clubs that potentially aren't run right and, and you know, managers get turned over at a regular rate which never gives the club a chance to build. This club's never been like that and I think if it's run right, anything can happen. Let's think about the Premier League winning the Championship. Uh, I know it's the ultimate dream, but um, step at a time. That's been our way and that's how it always will be. It would be fantastic and I think there would, there would have to be a sequel to the film if that happened.